Hi my beautiful friends, my name is Christina and in today's video I want to share with you a little bit about my chronotype, my morning routine, uh, how you can organize your day better um, for most productivity if you work for yourself, if you work from home, um, if you have an online business and um, you, you really don't have an office space. So what is a chronotype, right? Um, Dr. Bruce uh, who wrote the book, The Power of When, um, created this little quiz where you can find out your chronotype. And so we have our natural rhythms of sleep, our circadian rhythm of sleep. Um, some people call themselves night owls, some people call themselves early birds, and that's because of our natural tendencies um, to go to sleep and wake up. So. The night owls generally like to stay up at night and uh, sleep in in the morning and the early birds like to go to sleep early and wake up early. Um, there are in-between types as well. So what he describes um, as several different types or chronotypes are the bear, the lion, the wolf, and the dolphin. I am a bear. Uh, which is very interesting because I have a dog who is an Alaskan Malamute and his name is Bear. 55% uh, of population um, actually falls into this category of bears. And bears uh, natural circadian uh, sleep cycle is to go to sleep around 11 p.m. and wake up around 7 a.m. And so my natural tendency is exactly that. However, I do wake up earlier than that. I wake up somewhere between 6 and 6.30 generally. And that is because my partner um, gets up early to get ready for work. And that is our morning time together. So I'll wake up between 6 and 6.30. I'll go grab a glass of water. I'll bless my water. I made a video about that. Um, I'll, it's in one of my Qigong videos, so do check that out. I'll link it below. I bless my water to set my intention for the day. Um, I generally focus on the switch word cellular communication or cellular healing. Um, so my mind is already in that state of suggestion early in the morning and it's easier for my mind to absorb the messages I'm sending. After that, I'll drink my coffee with my partner and yes, that's something I'm working on, coffee on an empty stomach. And um, according to my chronotype, I should be drinking coffee 90 minutes post waking time. Um, so that's a habit that I'm working on, pushing my coffee intake for a little bit later. So between 6 and 6.30, I bless my water, I get my coffee, I spend time with my partner, and I do my quiet reading time. So as he's getting ready, I have a book in hand, and generally it's a spiritual book or um, some type of self-improvement book or something to deal with the human spirit and mind. And uh, after my reading session, I see my husband off to work, and then I go and walk my dog around 7.30 a.m. And during that time, I generally put on a podcast or an audiobook. Again, something that inspires me, something that's going to set the tone for my day. Um, so whatever that is for you, whatever um, inspiration you need in your life, maybe that's um, information on the power of manifestation or um, how to be fully in the present moment or how to meditate or whatever it is a topic of your interest. Um, I suggest that you use the time when you're either just walking outside on the street or you're um, in transit to work or you're driving to work depending on what your transportation means are. So that is the time um, for me when I'm walking my dog and that generally uh, takes about an hour. And then when I come back from the walk, I'll clean up. So usually there's a mess from the previous night, right? And I'll clean up the mess. I give myself an hour to do that. And then my day, my work day, if you will, officially starts. And I make sure that I map out my days. So instead of going with the flow of every day um, and just letting the hours pass me by, because that's very 
easy to do, especially when you work from home or um, when you have an online business and um, you don't have an office space. It is very common for hours to just go like that and you're like, oh my God, you feel like you haven't done anything. So for me, it's very important that I have a set schedule for myself. And that schedule doesn't change drastically day to day because the morning routine is the same every day. And depending on when I start seeing clients, um, that's really when my work work uh, begins. And generally, I'll start seeing clients um, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Um, I do have a few people that see me after those hours, but that's very rare. And I try to reserve the after work hours for regular people, 9 to 5, um, for myself and my husband and uh, our family time. So I start work. Um, I'll either see a client in person or I'll start uh, drafting work for my clients, their homework. And um, I'll have office hours with my mentor. Um, you know, there's various things throughout the day that I have to take care of. And all of that is mapped out in my timesheet. So you can do this in an Excel spreadsheet. You can do this in a Google document. But just something that you can look at on a daily basis as a roadmap for your day. That way you don't feel overwhelmed when you have days when there's a little more work and also you don't feel bored because there's um, too much free time on your hands right you can really uh, create a schedule for yourself that every hour of your day is beneficial in some way and productive and uh yeah, after, after 5 p.m., you know, that's an evening routine. So I'll talk about that in another uh, video. But basically, the importance of really mapping out your days, you'll see the increase in your productivity. You will see clearly where you have those pockets of time uh, where you might be inclined to eat out of boredom if that's your thing or where you're just going to get on social media out of habit. Um, so I have all my social media um, notifications disabled. I do not receive any notifications. I set a specific time to be on social media and I give myself half an hour tops every day. Um, and I do use social media more for my business. However, even if you use it to catch up with friends or family or, you know, get inspiration for yourself. Um, try not to be on social media for longer than half an hour. Um, it, is, it is a time-sucking um, vehicle, if you will, right? And so I hope this information helps you in some way um, so you can be more productive in your days. And um, I will see you in the next video where I'll be going over a five-minute cellular communication meditation. Hope you tune in, and I'll see you next time. Have a